Everybody, I'm out here with MP Outdoors and Benjamin. We are shed hunting on Maxwell's property, and he has some pretty big bucks. Like yeah, he had a 12 point last year, right? Yep. 10 point. He's had a lot of big bucks on here, so we're gonna see if we can't find some sheds. Let's get into it. Guys, we're in this thick area. Right now, we're just walking in the creek. This is actually my second time up shed hunting. So, the last time I didn't find anything. But I mean, I know that there's big bucks on the property, and I know it might not be super likely for them to cut their antlers on this property, but they gotta shed them somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, you never know. We might get lucky and find a pair of sheds or one. I'd be happy if we find anything. Yeah. But I have seen some some big bucks in person in my camera, so we might just be able to find some. Good. See how we've been shed hunting for a minute. Uh, today's not the best day for shed hunting. It's better to shed hunt when it's uh, overcast and cloudy because the sun's not beaming down on the sheds to give off light. But when it's cloudy, you can kind of see them better. But right now we're walking this creek and there's deer tracks everywhere. And there's some right there. And a bunch right there. Creeks are a really good spot for shed hunting because uh, like when they jump down and out of the creek, that like jumping movement can cause their antlers to fall off. Same with fallen logs, like if you follow a deer trail, there's a fallen log, that's a good spot to shed hunt. Just with the uh, tension and stuff of them jumping over, can fall off, but uh, yeah, and then, I mean, they can fall off anywhere, honestly, but. So we're gonna follow this creek. We might go back, not across the creek, we might check some of them fallen logs. We'll see, today's not the best day for it, but I mean, if we step on it, we're gonna see it. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know that there's sheds here. Uh, just a matter of if squirrels have already gotten them or if uh, other people have gotten them. But, yeah. Uh, I just found some bones in the trunk. Yeah, it's probably like a coyote. Coyote, yeah. Well, don't you think some actually looks sort of small? Yeah, I don't know what's going to coyote, but probably. Maybe a, maybe a dog. A but, wild dog? Yeah. No, the coyote's got the dog. Oh. Uh, there's some bones right here. This looks like a leg bone. Yeah, it's a dog. What? It could be a small deer. It could be, yeah. Yeah, finally found something. They figured out what it is. Uh, it was a buck. Don't know what size. Don't that know means there's sheds around here. Oh, there's some there. Where the antlers should be? That's probably like a shoulder. Uh, but, hey, cool. can you show it up for the camera? But here it is. It can't be that old. No. Like, uh, yeah, on this jaw. But he thinks the squirrel got to the ant. Maybe. Because, like, these are, this is really white, so that might mean it's been out here for a long time. Bro. Yeah. So, I don't know, we'll keep looking. We're still walking this deer trail, too, and yeah. Benjamin found them. Good job, Ben. Yeah, we're walking, we're walking a deer trail, hoping to see some sheds or something. Got this nice deer skull. That's really cool. Yep, we've worked on a lot of bones. Now we just need some antlers to finish off the day. Okay guys, so we only found this dead head out in the back of the woods, as Maxwell already said. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, smash the like button, and I'll put a link in the description to MP Outdoors. Bye. Yes, sir. <laughs>